step by step so i have a html page a simple html page uh, this is the html so we have uh, two input boxes expression and result we type in the expression here and then the result will will appear here after clicking the parse button so let's start first we will start with how to write a uh, the most basic expression parser so let's go let's clear this so the most easiest expression to parse would look like simple number of simple number sep uh, separated using plus button so 12 plus so this is a simple expression that we would like to par parse we assume that there are no spaces in between the operators and the operands so let's start so since this we can simply just split at the plus button using this javascript split function that will take the string by which we split the string we obtain the array then we will convert it to integer and then use the reduce function to accumulate all those values so let's start we have this expression node that is the dom element so we first take the expression from the dom node now let's assume our function is here It will take the expression that is plus separated and return the result. So our result will be obtained from with the argument expression. Now we need to uh, assign the result. Let's return zero initially just for testing. convert the result to string and then assign it to the result nodes value so let's refresh the page so it's working now what will be the logic here logic is as i said earlier we first split the expression with the operator it will obtain the numbers and then result will be equal to so first we obtain the strings and then we convert the numbers string to the number So we reduce the numbers using our using the functional function reduce it will take the accumulator and number as the argument and we just sum those our initial value will be equal to zero and then we return the result so let's see refresh the page um okay let's enter simple expression so it's working now let's add multiplication operator so our expression has gotten a little bit complicated we first started with simple expression in which plus was the only operator now let's assume uh, our basic expression will be So this is a, an expression so how do we go about parsing this first we have to no, notice the precedence of the operator multiplication takes effect 
before the plus button so the plus button has the lowest priority that means we need to bind these strings together so if we say this is the a expression this is the b and this is c then we can see that it is simply the result of a plus b plus c so uh, you must have uh, you can think for a while and then i will uh, give the spoiler so first we split the string by the plus button so we obtain arrays of string let's say here is our we split by the plus button so we obtain the multi only the strings that are containing the operator multiplication and uh, we use the same basic logic of the, our plus separated expression uh, to the logic will be similar to that so how do we go about passing this so this is the same logic just the operator has been changed to multiplication from the addition so let's go now we have this it will take the expression we split by this multiplication operator this function will Now here is this multiplication operator the same logic uh, plus it changed to multiplication accumulator initial value is 1 this is the initial value let's say just for readability now let's uh, see this function so what will the logic look like it will split in the plus and uh, the normal string is a little bit complicated so we obtain the normal string which will be the multiply separated expression so we pass this multiply separated expression it will return also number and the bottom one logic will be same so let's go refresh the page QL5 60 plus 3 equal to 63 so this is the basic logic now how do go how do we go about adding um, operators like at the same level uh, for example plus minus will have same priority so similarly we split by plus function we obtain this and the same uh, iterative logic that is let's say minus separator expression so first we execute the plus separator expression though you can see like a priority of operators plus minus and multiply even though plus and minus are at the same level it won't matter because uh, it don't matter for this function so whichever are evaluated first so first we split by plus button plus function plus operator second by minus and then last by multiplication so let's go we have this uh, minus separator expression it will split by the operator minus It will take the number and then subtract this our initial value is always zero just for readability then 
This is the initial value. Now here will be equal to the first minus separated expression. So minus will jump go over here. So let's see it in work. So you may let's clear this exit calculate the result so it is not working and let's see where is the error so we have this expression we split by plus First, let's test the minus separate expression function. Okay. So since we split by the negative function, The initial value will have to um, equal to the numbers of zero. If numbers okay, take this. I will uh, tell you within uh, a few minutes why I have done that. So let's 1 minus 2 minus 3. So 3 plus 2 is 5 and it is equal to minus 4. After splitting by the negative function, we get this array. But the first one is always positive. So I take it as the initial value and then subtract remaining ones. So this is a very simple logic. Now let's change it to the plus one. Calculate the result. As you can see, the result is zero. Let's try with more operators. Thirty-three plus one equal to thirty-four minus two thirty-two. So it's working. Now let's add multiplication to the equation 15 plus 2 30 c plus 1 4 so it's working good now you may uh, try to add more operators like division the logic will be equal to same that is we declare the priority of operators let's clear this we first split by the most operator with the lowest precedence then the next high precedence operator then the next operator then the next so we can go on and on and add more operators like exponential exponentiation now in the next video i am going to share how to how to write how to handle parenthesis so it's uh, you may think for a while but it's not too much it's not that complicated in the next video i will tell how to i'll share how to solve these expressions so uh, let's review the code we have this simple function par parse plus separated expression 
so it is chaining up to this next function each function is chaining up to this function it will contain only the multiplication operator and then the minus separated will contain both multiplication and then the negative plus will contain both multiplication negative and the addition operators so uh, this kind of chain, uh, chaining and in which the operators is reduced the operator with the lowest priority for example here the plus function was removed at the next step and then the negative function so thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video please uh, share